Hi everyone, welcome back. This week, the monkeypox virus has mutated much faster than previously expected. It is possible that it was our own immune system's doing. Now, I'll explain one of the latest hypotheses experts in the field put out recently. So let's get started. Let's first get a sense of the status of the current monkeypox outbreak. Now here we are looking at a graph that was from our World in Data website. Now this website has been tracking COVID-related numbers for the past two years. Now it is also tracking reported or suspected monkeypox cases. Now the case has been trending up since the middle of May. Now certainly there may be more unreported cases which was not tracked in this website. Now the UK has the most confirmed cases so far. Now you may have heard it already. The UK has upped the status of monkeypox, and now it is a reportable disease. Canada and US now have more than hundred confirmed cases as of June seventeenth. Let's have a quick comparison of how this twenty twenty two outbreak different from the two thousand eighteen outbreak. First, it is the outbreak scale. Now, more than thirty countries have reported cases where it's not typically seen. Second, the cases have presented differently than past cases in Africa. Now, traditionally, people with monkeypox started with flu-like symptoms, followed by a rash that starts on their faces and then spreads to other parts of their bodies. But in many recent cases in the U.S., patients first had a rash in the mouth or around the genitals or anus. The rash also are more scattered or localized in areas other than the face, hand, or feet. Now, some cases also had delayed flu-like symptoms after the rash had developed, or even no flu-like symptoms at all. A new article just published in the New England Journal of Medicine that presents some medical photos of these new lesions. Now, because they are pretty graphical and may not be suitable for YouTube, so I only include the link for those of you who are more medically curious. There is also growing evidence indicating that some of the cases were transmitted through sexual contact. There are also a lot of mutation that were seen in the collector samples. Now, this key difference between the current outbreak is that monkeypox virus genome has more than forty mutation than the genome sequenced in the previous outbreak in two thousand eighteen. This is very unusual because the monkeypox virus is a DNA virus, and unlike RNA viruses such as the coronavirus, it Easily make mistakes during replication and lead to mutation. DNA viruses make much fewer mistakes during replication. And under regular evolutionary scales, it will likely take decades to accumulate forty some mutation, and not just in about four years. And because of that, some viral expert hypothesized something else might have been introducing these mutation to the monkeypox virus. In addition to the unusual number of mutations, the mutation itself is also quite different and unexpected. It turns out that most of the changes are specific swapping between different letters or nucleotides that make up the DNA. Now, the DNA is made up of A, T, G, C, four different nucleotides. The observed mutation in the monkeypox virus has G specifically swapped to A, or C got changed to. T. Now these mutations are also at some particular locations within the viral genome, and not just at any random places. So why is that? So it has something to do with our innate immune system. There is an enzyme called 
ApoBEC3 in our innate immune system. This enzyme plays an important first-line defense mechanism in introducing mutations into viral genomes. The enzyme converts C in single-stranded stretches of DNA or RNA to U, and resulting in C to T transition. Now, since DNA is double-stranded, when one strand has a C to T transition, then when it is replicated, the other strand would have a G to A transition. The idea for the ApoBEC3 enzyme to introduce these mutations is to make the DNA unreadable for making messenger RNA and proteins so the virus could not complete the viral cycle. But this strategy is not always successful, and some viruses may not pick up enough harmful mutations to be stopped, and those that survived the mutation could carry the changes down and accumulate in subsequent generations of the virus. This is a possible explanation of why monkeypox has picked up so many mutations so fast. And it is not from the typical way of mutation that we normally see in RNA virus, which is the mistakes that was happening during replication. So, what are the implications? The current genomic data suggested that the mutations likely started in about 2017 and have been circulating at a low level since then. They may have gained notice recently due to the return of global travel. Now, one thing to be noted is that many Asia countries still have very strict rules on international travel, and there have not been any reported monkeypox cases yet. The bottom line is that experts in the field are still trying to find evidence to explain the current monkeypox outbreak epidemiology, but we are more certain that this outbreak is. Quite different than those happened in the past. That is all for this week. If you think this video is helpful, please hit the like button and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the monkeypox outbreak. If you would like to follow for more health science content and learn to live a healthier life, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video. I hope to see you again next week. And meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy. Take care. Bye.